Hi, I'm JC. And I'm Kevin. And we're educators here at the Science Spectrum Museum. And today we're going to be experimenting with some ideas for our spooky science carnival. So one of the things that we've already come up with that we think would be lots of fun for y'all to get to try out is making your own colored fireballs. Yay! So, it's really exciting. But, first things first, uh, we're going to talk about what we have to have to do this experiment, and secondly, how we're going to do this experiment safely. So, what we've got to work with today, uh, we've got a spray bottle here, and we've got a second bottle that we're just going to switch the lid over to. And inside it, we've got some little concoctions of chemicals. And then back here, we have our hood. Now, this is a really cool piece of equipment that should be in any science lab. This is a vent hood, and the way it works is there is a gas hookup, and the gas comes out at the Bunsen burner, which you can then light and heat up chemicals or also, in this case, spray chemicals at something and create fireballs, which is going to be pretty fun. Uh, but the cool thing about a vent hood is it also has this switch over here. This switch basically sucks out all of the fumes from anything we might burn in the vent hood and keeps it from getting in here and uh, getting in our lungs and us breathing it in and things like that. All right. The other thing that we're doing to be safe, I've got on an apron. Kevin's got on his nice lab jacket over there. We also have these handy dandy goggles. We look super cool, don't we? Yeah, we do. We look very cool. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to light the Bunsen burner. Kevin, if you will. All right. All right. Now I've got my uh, mixture of chemicals here and we're going to go ahead and spray it at the flame and watch closely at the color of it. It's pretty cool. Alright, so as you can see this is not your normal orange red fireball. In fact, it is actually green. What's happening is the chemical that we have mixed in there is burning a different color. What's in that uh, concoction over there, Kevin? Uh, it is isopropyl alcohol and... Copper sulfate. Now, copper sulfate burns green. We also have another chemical in here. It's called potassium chloride, which we're about to do. Now, what happens is each atom has its own level of energy with the electrons. And whenever you introduce the fire to it, those electrons get really excited and they like to jump around. And as they come back down from that excitement, they let off a color. Let's see what we get when we try our potassium chloride. Now, little science tidbit. Different chemicals do burn different colors. For example, magnesium is very, very hot. It burns white, which is the hottest color flame. And as you can see here, we have more of a purple or lilac colored flame as before we had the green flame. So different chemicals all burn different colors, which is something that's really, really neat. All right, so now that we've tried that experiment, we want to know what ideas you have. So be sure to go and comment down below and leave us your comments for your ideas for a spooky science carnival experiment. Or you can go to our Facebook or Twitter and also leave comments there. So all of those links are going to be in the description box below. And we want to thank you guys for watching today. We hope to see you at the Spooky Science Carnival on Monday, October 31st from 5 to 9 p.m. See Bye. you guys later.